Hello, we're back for more Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts? Hogwarts. Hogwarts Legacy. There we go. Got it eventually. Um, I forgot what quest I wanted to do. Sebastian and Ominous were seen arguing in the Great Hall. How did I not see that? Wait, we're doing that one. Anything to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. Okay, now that I've done all these secrets, let's go see what they're arguing about. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Well... Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Oh no. I uh, see, okay, I am curious. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna be real. I am just curious. The dark arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. Well, you don't have to tell me. I understand. You needn't tell me if you don't want to. If I were you, I'd be begging for more details. Well,. I am curious, but it's like, I'm trying not to be rude. It's not that I'm not interested, and you can certainly trust me if you want to tell me anything. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? Nope. What does the Cruciatus Curse do? It's known as the Torture Curse. Crucio. Oh. It inflicts intense, excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently. His parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Oh. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. Well, I don't blame as him. As punishment, his family cast it on him. Oh. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured oh. Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. That's a... Uh... That's a... That's an interesting predicament we got there. How horrible. Poor Ominous, he was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment mm -hmm. he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. Okay. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. <sighs> I don't know if that's necessarily the point here, buddy. Okay, well, now that we got that, let's continue. How many? We have six more of these. Hey. Um, let's go talk to Serona really quick. And then we're going to continue on with the, uh, what's it, the uh, main quest ones. Okay, it said there was like some weird man muttering behind the three broomsticks. So let me go see if I can find. Oh. You'll see, it was a mistake parting ways with me. Who are you? Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. Uh -huh. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. Oh boy. He cut me out of our herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. Hm. Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. Oh, no. Okay. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things, too. As I intend to remind him... By relieving him of his prized possession. Oh no. A vast tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. <sighs> hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? What? Why do you need Mr. Lawley's venomous tentacular in particular? Simple. If I have it, then Lawley doesn't. <laughs> Ergo, I can launch my <sighs> business, and he must start all over again. 
I'm killing two snidgets with one stone. You said Mr. Lawley was your ex-business partner. What were you working on? I had an idea to train Venomous Tentacular. Create guard plants, if you will, that attacked when ordered. That'd be kind of cool. We hit a snag when one ate Lawley's kneesel. Oh. After that, he cut me out of the business, the short-sighted fiend. Well, that in itself doesn't sound like his fault. However, I feel like there's more to the story. What else is in Mr. Lawley's cellar? All of Lawley's herbology supplies. He has quite the collection. Fill your pockets while you're there. <gasps> Or to slow him down for a bit and i can get my business going minus any competition this seems so bad i feel like doing these is going to come and bite me in the butt later on but side quest i'll get the venomous tentacular for you marvelous i know a fellow seeker of justice when i see one take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar all i ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular yeah. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. Uh huh. I understand, but it seems I need to find Mr. Lawley's cellar. This is gonna suck. Imagine. Oh, well. In my defense, it did just open. This must <gasps> be the cellar. Now to find that venomous oh, tentacular. I didn't think he'd be down here. <laughs> what? Oh my God! This is a stairwell and a half. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. Why does he walk like that? Please don't turn. Please don't turn. Please don't turn. Please don't turn. Eee. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why did he move like that? Eek. Why is his cellar so... Shut up. Why... Why do I get myself in these situations? Why am I in a guy's cellar and I have to fight freaking spiders? Oh, man, you need to clean your cellar. There should not be ginormous spiders in here. Oh. Yikes. That was so dang close. Now that I have the venomous tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Is there anything over there? I don't care. I don't care. I do not care. Hit a flaming spider to blow it up. Am I far enough away that doing that won't alert him? Cause like, I'll do it. Let's test it. Shut up, there's one really on top of me now. Oh my god, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Did I kill them all? Okay, I killed them all. Now I can do this in peace. I feel kind of bad taking all this stuff, but like... The guy totally told me I could, so like... Okay, is he still here? Yes, the answer is yes. Wow. Where are you going? This rat better not tattle on me. Whoa! What could be stirring in the cellar? Not me. I promise it's not me. It's just Attacking a rat. Spiders. Yes, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. They're definitely not dead. Oh my. I'm out. Peace out, y'all. <gasps> okay, I survived. Did it. Any luck retrieving a certain- Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. Let's see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. No, I think I'll keep it. Of course. I'm <laughs> glad to hand it over, frankly. I shall make an ocean of galleons. And Lawley's business will be sunk. <laughs> Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Wait, what? Oh, to see the look on Lawley's face the next time he wanders down to his cellar. Oh, he gave me gloves? Hey. Glad you came. Hello, Serena. 
I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lodgog? Okay, I distinctly remember him saying I shouldn't tell anybody, so I'm just going to say I spoke with him. I did, thank you. Conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Sprott? Hotsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. Ooh. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box um, full of old letters and such. Um, that seemed suspicious. Why does Mrs. Sprattle keep a supply of Wigan World potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying traveling vendors with Wigan World potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. Ramblings <laughs> of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, oh, okay. I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. I want to see the tea. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. Okay. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. On the way... Bard of Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. I don't know which one Hello, to say. Mrs. Brottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigan World potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your oh, I got you. Spaddle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. Aww. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. No need, I'll do it. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan World Potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. <laughs> Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home. Oh, no. But I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. But I just said I had it. Serena said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. <laughs> Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden, learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Wow. Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. 
I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. Thank you, Mrs. Sprottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. Okay. Okay, but what? <sighs> Excuse me, did you say something about a bard of Beaumont? Oh, hello again. How nice to see you. But and yes, I was gone for I like did. two seconds. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. <gasps> Saw Wait. him myself near some ruins with Rockwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. I got they you. They seem to be everywhere. They're coming after me anyway, so what do I have to lose? Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Okay. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. Uh-oh. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Why do I have Claire a feeling? Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Why do I have a feeling that she's dead? This doesn't necessarily look too terribly promising. Didn't mean to go that way. Is that in that must be yeah. Oh my gosh, I was on the wrong dang thing. Oh my god, it won't let me heal. It won't let me heal. Maybe not. That's really sad, actually. Well, I don't really know what was going on here. Oh, I think we're about to find out. Journey entry one of two. I hate that I'm afraid, but there's no going back. I seem to have mastered two of the curses so far, but I've had to pledge to do their bidding if I'm to learn more. I can't let them see my fear. They're already whispering behind my back. I've been told not to trust dark wizards, but I can't stop until I have enough magic to protect Claire, myself, and all of Elper Hogsmeade. Hog Hogsfield. An entry from Bardolph's journal. He overheard whispers. A plan. Something to do with him. Aha. Journal entry two of two. I'm repulsed by what I've just witnessed. They have created an infurious a corpse mutilated come to life. I tried to hide my horror at what I was seeing. Alas, I think they saw it through me. I need to convince them I'm not a spy. I'm not here to undermine them. If I do not, I fear I could be next. This mentions in theory, and something about it being Bardolf's turn next. That's sad. Now, are we gonna be honest and tell her that I kind of just killed him? I know, like, I didn't. Like, he was already dead by then, but, like, I kind of did. Upper Hogsfield has been terrorized by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. Oh, I she's the girl I was supposed to talk to. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. 
I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up with him and ended up in St. Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they hurled him against the rock and robbed him. Oh. The moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. Something tells me he's not going to regret it now. <laughs> you said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. I don't blame you. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Oh. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. He's not gonna return. To seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. I don't think it will. <laughs> I am unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. Okay, I have to talk to you again though, because like... You don't have to live in fear. This is our home. Oh, I do hope my brother is alright. Okay, um, we're gonna go clear the encampments first, and then we're gonna come back and... And, and tell her the news. Oh my god. Hey y'all. One of Ranrog's camps. Exactly as Madame Bowman described. Ooh, Venomous Tentacula. Isn't that the one? Yeah. Honk. Don't leave me alone. Hold on, I'm not doing well. How is this happening? Because I'm better than you. They're all just trying to hit me at the same time! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ay, 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 ay. Yippee! Alright, continuing on. Hi. Oh no. I think this one's stuck. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. That was a lot. Okay, time to give her bad news. I do the bustle of business. Poor customers, afraid to venture out. Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? Because I'm that good. I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. <sighs> you saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. Can you... I fear for other hands, uh... truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. Now, can you remember I did this when I tell you I what happened to your brother? Now. Thank you. Potato. Hey. Thank you. Sincerely. I have another thing to tell you. Madame Beaumont? Mm. I believe I have some news of your brother. Badolf? What do you know of my brother? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> What do I say? I don't know if she would rather think that he's off. Because to me, the pursue a new life thing is showing that like, yeah, he's using dark magic and he's blah, 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 like doing all that. But then at the same time, would she rather him just be dead? <laughs> I don't think I can tell her that he's dead. I'm just gonna... I'm afraid he's joined the Ashwinders 
and has no interest in returning. But what? No, no, this can't be. He was seeking their advice, that's all. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. Mm. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? Oh, bad off. Oh. Well, I mean, now she looks fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did would you rather me tell you he's dead? Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's finish Serona's thing now. Since I got a little distracted. Please don't have spiders. I've already had to deal with them once. <gasps> oh my god. I can find that box of letters. Got a heart attack. Wait. Whoa. Either I'll have to fight that troll or avoid it um, altogether. Girl, I don't think there's any avoiding it at this point. Can I? Okay. Please. Oh my god. Rest easy, my okay. friend. Okay, that one was tricky. <laughs> Oh, there's a letter. Okay. Dear Serona, when I arrived here, I had a troubling sense that in many ways I wasn't like the other first years. I confess I worried that Hogwarts might not have been the proper place for me and pondered sending an owl to my parents asking them to fetch me almost before the first week of classes had ended. How did you know? I presume you're not secretly a legendman's, but I wonder that you seem to know my thoughts better than I did myself. The day in the three broomsticks when you spotted me huddled in a corner, staring blankly at an untouched butterbeer and an empty bit of parchment, my quill dripping ink woefully onto the floor, and you came to sit with me, well, I shall never forget it. I recall a sudden sense of relief, as if someone had cast a levitation charm on me, and when you told me about how nervous you'd been to come to Hogwarts, I looked at you in a scene beyond my imagination to think of you as anything but the confident, contented witch sitting before me. In the days that followed, I marveled at how you charmed in the non-magical sense. I mean, everyone around you without apology, embracing who you were and who they were. It was as though a candle had flickered on for me. I realized that I would choose that path as well. Now that my school years are ending, the frightened first year which I had been seems worlds away. And I know it's because you saw yourself in that despairing creature in the corner of the pub and so generously extended yourself to her. Yours sincerely, Mirabeau. P.S. Please tell Miss Sproddle that I still plan on visiting her and Mr. Sproddle whenever I can for their delightful conversation and I am unashamed to admit her incomparable cauldron cakes. Aww. Dear Serona, I conjured this wee gift for you as a token of my gratitude. If you hadn't stood your ground on my behalf during Quidditch, pra oh my gosh. Quidditch practice last week, I might have left the team altogether and now we've won the Quidditch Cup. Ravenclaw House would not be the same without you. Yours sincerely, Sean. My dear Serona, I've sent a note separately to dear Mr. and Mrs. Sproddle for their hospitality, but felt the need to put quill to parchment with my thanks to you as well. What a lovely respite from the castle. I won't soon forget how we giggled about that ridiculous gnome. Did he truly believe that he was singing? And Miss Sproddle's steak and kidney pie was simply glorious. I shall be dreaming of it for days. I so appreciate you including me. I fear I must warn you, however, that this does not mean I will go easy on you in next week's match. You know that Ravenclaw is no match for all the Slytherin this year. Most gratefully yours, Philomena. <laughs> That name, I don't know for sure if I got right. Dear Serona, happy birthday to my darling friend. I sneaked into the kitchens and asked Fiend Key to make your favorite, Cream Crowdy. She was delighted to oblige. Not sure where she got raspberries at this time of year. Genius that Fiend Key. Bess. Oh my gosh. Dear Miss Sproddle. Mother and father were delighted to hear that you and I had spent the afternoon at Glad Rags last Sunday. Truth be told, I think my mother was ever so slightly envious. I shan't soon forget how heartily we laughed at my efforts to lace the bodice of my new dress, a challenge indeed. As in the rather delicate practice of properly situating a hat pin without wondering either my hat or my head. Wounding, my bad. But I adore everything that we selected, and I have you to thank for how feeling like for now feeling like a marvelously fashionable witch. It was also a treat to dine at the three broomsticks without having to clear the tables. I shall own a place like that one day, mark my words. Consider myself more than lucky that you and Mr. Sproddle agreed to let me stay. I know that my parents feel precisely the same way. Yours gratefully, Serona. I think that was all I of them. I think everything. Serona, I should take this box of letters to Serona. Yippee. She'll be glad to have it back. I'm back, I have your letters. I definitely didn't read all of them. Hello, Serona. I have good news. 
I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Spottle with some hawk clumps for her Wiganweld potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I didn't even get give the hawk clumps to that lady. I don't think. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. One of the letters mentioned Quidditch practice. I'm just admitting I read play? them all. I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of Aww. my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind, especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. Aww. I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Spottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. She taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Spottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... Well, got me through some challenging times, to put it mildly. Oh? I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. Yippee! I still need to use this stupid Thunderbird potion against an enemy. I keep forgetting. Should I just go randomly find someone really quick? <laughs> Otherwise, it's just the main- Okay, yeah. Yes, we're gonna go do that. Oh, there's a side quest down here. I shall sort something uh, out. Oh. Hello, is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious <gasps> moon calf biscuit was abducted by poachers up north. No. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr. Garnuff. Just Garnuff. <gasps> I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor biscuit. I can only hope she's I able saw to thumbs escape. Up. No, I'll help you. Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. Mooncalf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flog skinned, gutted, and stuffed. I assume. Oh, Biscuit. A mooncalf is an unusual pet. Why did you choose I Biscuit? have a moon calf. She followed me one evening. I just I wouldn't leave my accent. side. Never thought I was one for a pet of any kind. But now I can't imagine life without her. Moon calves are often thought of as silly, simple-minded creatures. But I've seen great depth of character in Biscuit. I wouldn't trade her for a hippogriff or a hippopotamus. Or even a goose that lays golden eggs. Oh, I'll help you. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garneth. Oh, how kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. Mm -hmm. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Okay, well, this is perfect. Do keep an eye out for her. And be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. Don't worry. I should try and rescue Garneth's moon calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. On the way. This is great. Because I need to use a Thunderbird potion anyways. Okay, this one is rough. Oh my god. 
Jeez Louise, that person did not want to die. <gasps> oh my god, there's a lot of them. Hello, Amora. Yay. Now then, which one of you is Biscuit? Um. Um. Well, oh, oh, oh. Biscuit. Biscuit. Biscuit, stop Hello, running away. Are you trying to help? Biscuit, please. Biscuit. Right, I got it. Biscuit. I think about to go enough, shall we? Yay. Where is the flu flame? Oh. Who are you? Are you in some sort of trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Huh? Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be you in for possession real? of such a thing? I'm afraid not. I'd help you if I could, but I don't actually have anything with me. Well, that is unfortunate. I was hoping you'd be better prepared. Well, that's rude. Man, that means I'm gonna have to go brew a whole nother one of those potions. Uh-oh, can I die from this? No. Oof. Okay. Just set myself hurtling down a mountain, but it's it's fine. I made it. Don't worry, I got her. Garneth, I've rescued Biscuit. You have. Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? I'm great. Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. Oh. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. Yay. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble mooncalf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. What I As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. Oh. What did he give You've me? You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard oh. kind. Oh, Biscuit and I can't thank you enough. We're going to start hey, brewing. Thanks. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Hey, thanks. We're going to brew another thunder brew potion. Because eventually we're going to need that. Oh, I can just return Professor Sharp. Let's go do that. Hey. Have you finished your assignments? Yep. I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. I didn't even take a shortcut. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. What do you know that Talent I don't? Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Readying. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Boom. Did it. Hmm. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo, for your sake and that of everyone else. Defindo. It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. I didn't even listen to you, bro. <laughs> We're gonna run to the common room and put away the little crest thingies that I found, because we have like three, I think, that we need to put back. Let's see. This Dedalium Keys challenge is coming along nicely. Yay! Look at that! We have over half of them now. Okay, they are being chatty, and I want to go somewhere that's not chatty so I can say goodbye. Alright. We made a little bit more progress. We completed some side quests that I didn't actually plan to do. Um, but yeah, next episode we will continue on with the two main quests, and yeah. We'll see how it goes.
pretty much I'm thinking I'm going to keep the episodes roughly this length. It might take us more episodes to get through because I know this game is really, really long. But just so that it's not too overwhelming to watch and edit, you know, all that jazz. We're going to keep it roughly here. But with that, I will see you all next week for more Hogwarts. Bye!